All right, guys, let's talk about keyword tracking. A lot of customers ask me, what, what is that boost feature and why is it important? You know, like why it's kind of annoying. I don't want to have to click it every 10 days. So I'm just going to forget about it unless you tell me why it's important. All right. So for those who don't know, boost is the feature where uh, inside of keyword tracker, you hit this rocket ship uh, over here. And then what it does is it starts uh, checking keywords uh, 24 hours a day, 24 times a day in different browsing scenarios, all right? So that's the key there. And so I'm gonna show you why Helium 10 has been doing this. Oh, I mean, and this is this is nothing new. Like the, uh, 2017, uh, when Keyword Tracker first came out, early 2018 as well, uh, it had boost, all right? So, so this is something that Manny Coates, the founder of Helium 10, was very important to him. But why is the question? Well, why do we need to check different browsing scenarios? First of all, what does different browsing scenarios mean? Different browsing scenario is, an edge browser, a Chrome browser, edge in private mode, Chrome incognito mode, Safari browser, a mobile browser, a zip code in Minnesota, an address in Miami, Florida. So it's like geolocation, you know, like different addresses. It's also different browsing scenarios, logged in, logged out. Basically what happens is, is usually for like the, you know, the, the biggest selling products, a lot of their keyword ranks stay kind of steady, you know, regardless of the browsing scenario. You know, a lot of the keywords will stay pretty steady. But on the flip side, there might be just as many products and just as many keywords where based on these browsing scenarios, you know, whether I'm using a Chrome browser, whether I'm signed in, whether I'm signed out, whether I'm using Safari, whether I'm in, in Brooklyn, New York, whether I'm in San Diego, California, you might see different search results. Right. And, and that's always been the case, like where people say, hey, how come, you know, my, my keyword tracker, my Cerebro looks different than when I'm looking at on Amazon? It's because we're not using your Chrome browsers to actually go search for keyword ranks. You know, whatever you're seeing in keyword tracker is not necessarily the same as what the rank that we put, you know, what browsing scenario that we chose. So I want to go in now and, and kind of like really illustrate just how much of an impact this potentially can have and why you should be using boost and why you should care about different browsing scenarios. All right, let's hop right into it. Uh, right now I am in an edge browser, right? Microsoft edge. Like can't believe anybody uses that, huh? And I am here in the, uh, San Marcos zip code. All right. San Marcos is very near to me here in San Diego. And I searched coffin shelf. All right. Now you take a look at the first line of search results. You see, uh, you know, three competitors, there's a makeup coffin shelf. And then here's at one of our products, you know, one of our coffin bookshelf products is page one position four. you know, the second line of results, there's a bat shelf, three coffin shelves and a couple other coffin shelves and a makeup shelf. Now let's just compare. I am in the same exact browser, which is edge. All right. Here I put a different address. I put my old address in Brooklyn, New York, one, one, two, oh, one Brooklyn Heights right there. All right. This is the same search done at the same time. Now, if we look at the search results, the very first line, it looks like it's the same, but look at page one, position three. This is actually a completely different makeup shelf that is here. All right. The other three products are actually the same. Like I said, you know, a lot of times it, it is the same, uh, but here, th this, this Epic gifts coffin shelf is completely different. What has page one position three from San Marcos, California, compared to Brooklyn, New York. As I scroll down to the next line of search results, it's even more different. You know, like like this bat shelf is nowhere to be found. Here is that one that's page one, position three in one uh, address. And now it's like page one, position 10 in another one. All right. So this is basically what we mean by, first of all, like the geolocation or different address, different city, uh, you know, that you're putting in to Amazon, you could have different results in the same exact browser based on that. And that, that I think kind of, you know, makes sense to uh, most people. Now, one interesting thing, it's not necessarily about the uh, shipping time. All right. So for example, remember that, that, that listing uh, we said uh, was different, the page one position three, the coffin makeup shelf here, as you can see for New York, it says it would be delivered on October 10th or October 6th is the fastest delivery. All right. Now that same exact product on in, in San Diego, it's page one, like position 10, you know, it's, it's way down the page, 
But look at the shipping time. It's either October 10th or October 6th, exactly the same. So the, the keyword rank here, it wasn't that, oh, it can ship faster to New York. That's why it's going to be higher up there. Now, sometimes that might be the case, but it's you, you can't always think that, oh, okay, it's this 100% ranking has to do with how fast Amazon can ship because that's not the way that Amazon uh, works across the board. All right. Now, um, next thing, let's, this was Edge signed in. Let's now go to Edge in private. All right. So this is now uh, like Edge in cognito mode, I guess, if you were. I did the same exact addresses. All right. Again, San Marcos, California. And then I did Brooklyn, New York. Now, this is like literally the same address. So the difference is one is an edge browser and one is edge in private mode. All right. Take a look at the first line. There's like two here for San Marcos. There are two coffin make those two coffin makeup shelves that were at different places on the other uh, listing or the other uh, browsing scenario. These are all in the top row. Now, let's again compare it to the same exact city right here. This is San Marcos, right? Look, look at the top line of search results. Completely different. Where's our our product, our double coffin shelf, is nowhere to be found on, on the same exact one. Let, let, let's, let's go ahead and scroll down. It's not in the second line of products. It's not in the third line of products. It's all the way in the fourth line of products. And again, was this necessarily about shipping? No, look, look, look at our product. It says delivery on the 12th or 7th, all right? In the same uh, scenario, delivery on the 12th or 7th, but one is ranked page one, position four. And just because of the different browser we're using, the other one was ranked halfway down uh, page one. All right. And now take a look at this. If I scroll down page one in the in private, I see this crazy, ugly looking, gr grotesque, grotesque here, uh, like knife holder. That's a skull, right? It's gross looking. Now in Brooklyn, uh, on the in private, let's see if I see that. Yep. There it is right there. It's all the way down the page. Now, guys, this was not anywhere on page one in the same exact address just a different browser that that product was nowhere to be found so you guys see th this is what we mean by different browsing scenarios it's not just about address it's not just about shipping time you can have different search results all right doesn't mean one is right one is wrong it's just different different uh d different results it is what it is all right what are some other uh, examples let's go ahead and switch to uh, google chrome all right, now I'm in Google Chrome. Now, here's the thing. Some people, you know, might think that, oh, well, is the the, the different uh, locations, is it only about like different states or maybe it's different cities or no, it's not cities, it's zip code. No, uh, answer is none of the above. Amazon sometimes, even within the same zip code, will have different rankings in the same exact browser, all right? Watch this. This is Google Chrome right here, all right? I put in, look at this, 92078 uh, up here as a uh, address. And then in this other window, 92078, I actually put a specific, a, a different specific address than the one, than the other one, all right? So two different addresses, same exact zip code, same exact browser. Let's take a look at the search results, all right? Line one, it goes... Uh, the, the Amazon's choice and two coffin makeup shelves and then one other coffin shelf. Let's take a look at the other address. Only one coffin makeup shelf and then another product that wasn't even in the top of the page. Okay, this is the same exact uh, same exact zip code, guys, just two different addresses, same exact browser, and we are getting different results. If, if I go further on this page, I found another listing that was on one on, on page one, it wasn't even on page one uh, on the other one. Now, the other reason why you know it's not just about the address is like, you know, there's fulfilled by merchant, all right? So take, take a look over here. Uh, I just actually activated, this was, this was a test product I was doing some keyword testing on for episode 500. It's a coffin bath tray, right? And I just threw it on here. Here I put Brooklyn, New York, all right? Brooklyn, New York address, and this is fulfilled by merchant. And I'm obviously in California. Amazon knows I'm in California. They know where I'm shipping from. I've got my shipping tiers and it's saying this is page one position uh, five, it looks like five or six right here. All right. And this is a fulfilled by merchant. Now, if I actually change this zip code, let me go ahead and change this zip code to, um, 
let's go ahead and change it to something in San Marcos, really close to me, right? So that Amazon knows I, you know, I'm shipping it. It's probably going to deliver the next day, you know, because I'm shipping it right from here. Let's take a look at the search results. You would think that it would go all the way up to page one position, like two or three. Let's take a look. No, nope, nope. It's in the exact same position. And this time page one position six. Like, so again, if Amazon was like just strictly going on shipping time, you would see a little bit more consistency with the fluctuations. Now, that being said, the whole reason why we check different addresses and different browsing scenario, again, is that there is fluctuation, sometimes based on an address, sometimes based on a browser. And why is this important? All right. Like why, why should you care uh, about this? Let me show you a great example of this going back to that coffin shelf product. All right. Here is my keyword tracker that I had on boost uh, sometime this summer in May. All right. Now, as you can see, those of you watching on this, look here, like in the beginning of May, I had like pretty consistent rank. I had boost on and you could see it was only fluctuating my rank between like five and 10, right? Now look at what my impressions were for that day. Like the way you can see your impressions and page views is right on your insights dashboard uh, of Helium 10, your dashboard. You just set the dates. Uh, I set it right here to uh, May 6th through May 13th. And I scroll down here, I can see this at the parent level. I just want to see all the impressions at the parent level. And let's see what it was. 1,310 page views, 603 sessions. All right, it was doing pretty good uh, here at the beginning of May. Now, going back to that keyword, look what happened the second week of May. You guys see what's happening? All of a sudden, now you start to see fluctuation in the different browsing scenarios. So you can see instead of just going between five and 10, it's going back and forth between like five and like 15 and 16. Did this have an effect on the number of page views and impressions we were getting? Let's go to Helium 10 Insights dashboard. Let's enter the next week, 514 to 521 and take a look at the impressions. It went from let me see, 1310 down to 881, all right? It went down by a pretty big number here, all right, because of that keyword fluctuation. Let's go more on this keyword tracker graph. Take a look here. The very following week, look at some of this fluctuation. At In one hour, in one browsing scenario, it's position six. In the next hour, it's position 25, even position, what is this, 45, probably falling off of page one, all right? So what happened there? Let's go to the page views for that week, 427, all right? So remember, just compare it. That first week where we were doing pretty good, it was pretty steady, your keyword ranks, right? You had 1,310 page views, but because of this fluctuation on rank that probably was happening on multiple keywords, it went down to 427, now, you know, what, what is the reasons? Could it be inventory? Absolutely, it could be inventory. Let's, let's take a look. You guys probably didn't know this, but in Helium 10, there's a tool called inventory levels inside of profits. And I can actually go to a certain uh, date range. I'm going to pick April to May here and see, hey, every day, what was my inventory? And sure enough, here at the, the end of April, I had some inbound inventory, all right? And at the beginning of May, I had some some pretty good numbers. So so the the number actually, you know, went up between the end of April and the beginning of May. And, and actually if you look, I actually show the page impressions all the way back from the end of April, it was actually pretty bad when my inventory was low, and then as soon as my inventory got in stock, my impressions went up and my keyword ranking um, you know, potentially uh, got a little bit better. So absolutely, your inventory levels plays a role. That's why we have this uh here. But as you recall, as May progressed, even though my inventory was not going down much at all, uh, I was still at the mercy of Amazon. You know, we call that like the search shuffle where Amazon was, was not consistently keeping me at the top of page one. So now another thing that people ask about is inventory heat maps. All right. So, you know, Helium 10 has inventory heat maps and that allows you to kind of see where your inventory is is uh, stored at across the country. Now, for some strange reason uh, here in uh, inventory heat maps, I can see where Amazon is storing my products 
and it's only in two warehouses, right? It's only in Kansas and Ohio. So, so right off the bat, that tells me like, probably I need to send more inventory in. But that being said, it doesn't always mean that your keyword ranks across the board are completely affected. Don't you remember that even when I was in the, the Brooklyn uh, zip code and I was in San Diego, like I got, I was still ranking at the top of, of page one about. So what I did, I was just out of curiosity. I'm like, if, if Amazon only awarded keyword rank based on where my you know product is being stored, well, let me go ahead and pick an address very close to this place where they has most of my inventory. So let's take a look at Kansas. All right. So here I picked a zip code and the address right here in Kansas. And if you look, I mean, you would think, Hey, my, my, my coffin shelf should be at the top of page one. It's not in the first line, not here at the sec. Oh, it is here at the second line. All right. So here it's page one, position five. All right. So not too bad, but look at the shipping time, guys. It says Tuesday, October 10th, Friday, October 6th. Does that sound familiar? Do you remember how it was when I was in San Diego, California? Fastest delivery, October 10th, or I'm sorry, uh, regular delivery, October 10th, fastest delivery, October 6th, the same exact shipping time, even though it has to go cross country just to get to me. All right. What about the other address, which was uh, Ohio member? So I put a Cleveland uh, zip code in here. All right. Uh, not in the first line, not here in the second line, not in the, th oh, it is in the third line. But here, even though the inventory is stored right, like literally next door to this address that I picked, it is actually showing a later shipping time. It's saying the fastest delivery is Monday, October 9th. For this and it and uh, it also has this you know a little bit toward down towards the page so you know again part of the moral of the story is nobody we none of us know amazon probably doesn't even know the ins and outs of the amazon algorithm it's obviously first of all not consistent all right it's not based on one thing you know it's not just all hey on this browser you're always going to see these results uh, if you're signed in you're always going to see this results if you're in this address you're always going to see these results if you have inventory close by to a warehouse you're always going to have this that's not the way unfortunately as of now that amazon works but at the same time there's a reason why helium 10 made all these tools i just went in keyword tracker with boost inventory levels history uh, inventory heat maps is because you need visibility into what's going on. So you're not scratching your head, wondering what you can do or what, why your, your page views are gone, have gone down or why your page views have gone up, you know, conversely. So again, the, the, the takeaways here guys is number one, turn boost on, on your main keywords, keep it on. All right. Go into your dashboard and set up the insights where you'll get an alert. If, if your keyword, uh, if your keyword drops in in keyword rank, you know, uh, more than four times in a row. All right. Uh, set up an alert for if your page impressions go down, you know, like that, that actually we have this product is underperforming insight on insights dashboard. It'll let you know, Hey, your page views are down by, by 30% or, or whatever. All right. And that should trigger you to, all right, let me go check my keyword ranks, which keyword is, is resulting in this is Amazon. Like all of a sudden shuffling me around, uh, take a look at your inventory levels. Do you need to send more inventory in? Is Amazon distributing your inventory? Like to me, they're not distributing my inventory across the board, but it doesn't look like it's affecting me too much on keyword ranks. My, my keyword ranks are pretty, uh, stable uh, at the top of page one across the board. So even though you don't have too much control over what's going to go on, um, as far as the, the search shuffle goes, it's important you understand what is happening out there so that you know you can take action